Hallelujah, glory to God. God bless each and every one in the name of Jesus. What a beautiful and amazing day that our Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. It's a privilege that I bring us God's words, not a right, in the name of Jesus. Before I start, I use this opportunity to thank all my amazing family, lovely family, all the subscribers. God bless you all for being there in the name of Jesus. And my prayer in the life of each and every one is that the hand of God that make rich and added no sorrow with his blessing will rest on our lives in the name of Jesus. There is a new world that will make today a different and a special day than yesterday. And smile alone is a vitamin to our system. If you have not been smiling since the morning sun rises, I wanted to start smiling for in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word says, you don't have much time left. It's a warning. The Lord is warning someone that you don't have much time left in the name of Jesus. You're seeing this young face for your very first time. I'm Basil. I'm the man God is, is using. This is prophetic blessings. Hallelujah. Please subscribe. Here we are praying. Remember the word that says the family that prays together the lives together so that we might be together both physical and spiritually in the name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word title says, you don't have, hallelujah, you don't have much time left. It's a warning in the name of Jesus. I saw someone under the sound of my voice that the Lord is warning in the name of Jesus. Your main focus now is on your looks. Your main focus now is on your looks. There is one thing I tell people, any season, everything, every time has a season. In every season, there is a time. So if you do not respect time and principle, you, are, you, you might end up losing your blessings. This particular person I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. You know, as a young woman, when a baby girl is growing, that's a baby. But when a but when a baby grows to become a girl, the strain of a girl becomes her looks. The moment the girl, the lady grew from a girl to a wife, that is when she can be found. So I'm saying this because the person the Lord is warning, you are neglecting yourself in the name of Jesus. Your life is not insured. The Lord is warning you. I know a lot of people don't always like when men of God talk about bad, like dead, all those types. But listen to me, I must say it. There is no body that will live forever. The Bible says, in the, it, says it is appointed for man who wants to die and the next thing is judgment. So as you're waiting, as you're not expecting death, always have it at the back of your mind that one day you will go the way you came and there must be dead. After the death, there will be a judgment. Have you ever thought of that? Have you been living your life and one day you just sat then you just have a, a reflect that, oh, one day I will go? That is the question I'm asking somebody. At this particular point of time, you're living your life, your life is not insured. We are living in a world whereby a lot of nations has created the system of insurance that you should not live in their nations without insurance. Your insurer is there to insure your physical body, to insure yourself. If something come up, your insurance is there. You am a child of God. If you can buy a car and the government insists that you insure the car, what's more about yourself? So if you can insure your house, insure your house, insure, insure your cars, insure everything, then you forget to insure yourself that you are the greatest among everything that you insure, but you're living an insured life. A driver that will neglect the value of insurance, there is no problem, they will not force you. But the moment something happens, that is when you are going to know the implication of that insurance. Somebody, you are watching me right now. You're just living your life as if you will live forever. You do everything because you have power today. 
you're beautiful today is that why you 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 are going to mess up around sleep with everybody you can do it today but ask yourself in 20 years how will you look like where are you going to be what will you do my prayer for somebody under the sound of my voice hear me people of god hear me people of god the lord is telling you you have no time left we are living in a world whereby a lot of people might use their leave some type of life saying we are waiting for Jesus. Jesus will not come now. Listen to me. Jesus is coming every day. Rapture is happening every day. If you have not been seen and noticing, rapture is happening every day. There are people that are dying. There are a lot of people passing through hell. People are dying. Rapture is happening every day. Every day. Every day. One songwriter says, those people in the mortuary, they are not better than you. You are not be better than them that are in, are in the hospital. You are not better than the, than, than the people in the mortuary. It's by God's grace. Have you ensured your life? Have you turned, look yourself and say, Jesus, I want to ensure my life with you. Jesus, I want to make a covenant with you. You have no time. Child of God, be ready. The Bible says Jesus Christ will come as a thief. Let's be ready. Somebody be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. If you know your life has been insured as a living child of God and you are ready, drop it at the comment section. Man of God, I am ready. There are people that will be ashamed. I am ready. Even if it takes me today to die for Jesus, I am ready. I am ready. There is nothing here on earth. I am ready. I am ready. I pray for somebody. If you are not ready, may you accept Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Ensure your life. The moment you lift up your, your hands and accept Jesus, Jesus Christ become your insurance. You have insured your life to him. Anything that happened to you, you are in the hands of God. And God cannot abandon his own. He will watch over Israel, neither sleep nor slumber, and he will never sleep nor slumber. For in Jesus' name, amen.